Uh, hello, friends. I'm Sneha S. from uh, Galpin uh, CSC Cybersecurity of Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Um, today, my topic is uh, topic is uh, waste stream assessment, waste generation, and waste composition. So, let us begin with. introduction of waste stream assessment. Uh, this waste stream assessment is a process of uh, identifying the mixed materials which are used in the local stream. Uh, it is mainly used to determine uh, the basic aspects of quantity, that is the composition uh, of um, waste materials. And composition is a different components present in the waste. And sources of waste are the different sectors of the community from where the waste can be collected. So this waste stream assessment uh, is used for analyzing short-term and long-term problems. Uh, it is not a one-time activity. It is a very uh, dynamic process and also it should be continuous in order to analyze the waste materials. Uh, waste stream assessment can also be um, described as a process of understanding mix of materials in the local waste stream. Uh, so, what is the importance of this waste stream assessment? Uh, like, it usually helps the government um, to understand the waste reduction. It helps us to identify the major uh, waste materials that are produced uh, during the waste stream assessment. It also ranks the materials in order of their impact that was into the environment. It also helps us assisting local educational materials on solid waste management. So there are two ways in which uh, waste stream assessment can be obtained. That is rational analysis uh, and field investigation. Rational analysis. Uh, it is usually done for uh, planning, designing, and operation of management systems. It, uh, when, whenever this uh, analysis of uh, material is done, it will help us to uh, detect the changes in, which is happening in the composition characteristics and also the quantities of waste and like at what is this uh, changes is taking place so that uh, we can uh, design our equipments our um, processes according to the given analysis of data it also helps us to quantify the amount and type of material like how much amount of waste is segregated and what type of material is used which will be helping us for processing recovering and recycling uh, whenever we provide all this kind of information, it will help us to decide the technologies and equipments which will be needed for the future needs. Like uh, in case uh, most, uh, more waste is generated now and we don't have equipment. So when we do this analysis, we'll be knowing uh, uh, what type of equipments will be needed in the future. So it helps in that. Uh, the forecast trends assess the designers and manufacturers uh, in the production of collection vehicles, equipments, suitable for future needs. As I said to you before, it helps us in the uh, designing of uh, collection vehicles and other equipments which will be needed in the future. Field investigation. Field investigation can be done in three types. I mean, there are three possible ways that are waste sorting, vehicle weighing, and the field visit. So to come up with, we have first uh, waste sorting, uh, sorting of waste into predetermined components uh, which take place at the disposable sites. Why is this done? Why, why are we sorting the sorting of waste in the sense? For weighing and sampling, which will help us to determine the percentage of each component, like uh, how much percentage of each component is present in the waste. And also we'll be able to determine the physical and chemical characteristic of that waste. It is carried out manually. Uh, usually it is carried out manually. Uh, the uh, sample size for analysis is between 100 to 150 kg. Uh, the equipments used in waste sorting are uh, sorting table, measuring box, bins, or boxes, uh, which will be um, used to sort the materials and store them. Next is vehicle weighing. Uh, how are this vehicle weighed? So in order to weigh the vehicle, uh, we weigh the vehicle where once they enter the disposable sites and also when they exit the sites. Usually the fire vehicles front wheels are weighed first, uh, followed by the rear wheels and the sum will give the total weight. And this weighing is uh, done, uh, like it is carried out every day 
in order to determine the average weight, uh, this weighing of um, this weighing can be accomplished using weighing scalar weight bridge. Field visit. Field visit means uh, visiting the institutional or uh, uh, field industrial sites to identify the waste generated and the methods, like what methods uh, that particular institution is using for generating and disposing the waste. Uh, what does a field visit include? It includes a uh, visiting facility. Then uh, they can uh, conduct a questionnaire where the people of, of the disposable sites or the generation sites will be questioned uh, with the help of the plant manager, the one who is uh, leading them. Uh, this and they also collect the sample and seal them in polythene bags, which will be taken later for uh, the laboratory for chemical and physical analysis of that particular waste material. So in this uh, sample may be of a range of 1.5 to 5 kg. Waste analysis is just an overview like what and all uh, it consists of and uh, what waste stream analysis. It analyzes the paper e-waste, universal waste, organic, metal, plastic and other good waste. Levels of waste stream assessment. There are four levels. Borrowed data, disposable or transfer facility, commercial or industry survey, exercise. Waste generation and composition. Uh, so waste generation and composition. Uh, let us begin with waste generation. Waste generation uh, deals with those waste which have no economic, no more economic value. Uh, they are uh, they may be solid or semi-solid. Uh, for example, if waste is generated in a commercial facility consists of only paper products, the appropriate equipments are shredders and palers. Like why are we uh, focusing on the equipment? Because uh, the waste generation can whatever the waste is generated, it can be of any type. So uh, if it is of any paper then the equipment will be shaders and balanced. Similarly, if waste is generated, we can plan like how can they separate it, how can they collect it, how can the recycling programs be carried on. All that will be decided on the basis of the waste generated. The process of raw materials is a first stage when waste are generated. So uh, it is a process I mean, waste generation. The first step is a collection of the raw material. These raw materials are then converted into final products which can be consumed later. These are the different uh, composition of waste. There is a generation of waste, like how is it that? Firstly, the raw materials uh, come like wherever the, the manufacturing is taking place, the raw materials that are residual, that, is, that can be solid or semi-solid, uh, it comes to the manufacturing side. Uh, it goes for processing and recovering. If like uh, something, there is something more used which can be taken out from that, we'll be doing process and recovery. Then we'll go for secondary manufacturing. Uh, see from the manufacturing, it can directly go to the consumer. If in case there is no need of processor and recovery, but if in case it is required, then we'll go for process and recovery. Or else it is gone for secondary manufacturing, which will be consumed by the consumers later this then it is uh, gone to the disposable sites waste composition so what does this waste consist of the major constituent of waste are paper and decomposable organic waste it can also contain metal glass ceramics textile dirt and wood the average proportion of the constituent reaching the disposable sites are consistent and urban cities are fairly constant uh, means uh, usually from the urban areas, the waste generated will be constant because uh, a common routine will be followed by the people, those are living in uh, a particular area. So uh, the constituent of the waste will be constant. Waste composition can also vary with the uh, seasonal changes and also the lifestyle, composition pattern and also the cultural behavior. Uh, this is a table. Uh, which uh, tells us the character, like what are the different composition of waste and where can, uh, uh, like if there is low income, what's the percentage of waste generated and if there's high income, what is the percentage of waste generated and uh, what uh, comments, means like this comment is based on the characteristics. That is, if it is paper, it is low paper content, which index low caloric value, 
uh, same it comes to the plastics like what amount and uh, what is the property of that looking forward uh, this is another table uh, where we can see uh, some organic waste and actually all the different kinds of solid waste uh, their uh, mass percentage, their moisture content and density. Why do we need all this mass percentage, moisture content and uh, density? Uh, this is uh, required in order to determine the physical and chemical properties of that particular waste. So this range is uh, helpful to us there. Uh, there is a note here that uh, density of waste changes and it's uh, moved from source of generation to the point of ultimate uh, disposable. Like, okay, when density, we know that it's mass per unit volume. So it just uh, changes when you move it from one place to the another place uh, because of the storage methods, salvaging activities, exposure to the weather and handling methods. Uh, in short, uh, predicting the changes of waste composition is difficult because whenever it is exposed to the environment, it might show us some changes. So it is uh, very difficult for us to predict the changes. Uh, I would like to conclude uh, by uh, saying the process and purpose of waste stream assessment. It, why is it so important? Uh, it usually helps us, the local governments, to implement the solid waste management plans. And the levels of assessment should be based on local government needs. Uh, since recycling markets and other local um, government experiences provide equally important information about the waste stream, a waste stream does not have to be precise to suffice. Like what are the benefits? Why are we doing this waste stream assessment? It will help the community to understand uh, what type of waste is generated, then uh, update the information. Like uh, now, uh, new, new, we'll be able to implement new methods in waste stream assessment. Uh, whenever we do this uh, waste stream assessment, we'll be able to uh, find out what are the problems and in what ways that can be solved. And also it play, gives us a very important uh, information in the planning purpose. Uh, so I would like to conclude with a quote uh, that is, when we destroy something created by man, we call it vandalism. But when we destroy something by nature, we call it progress.